Hi guys, welcome back to Decorating Happily Ever After. I'm Jeffrey Kevin. There's nothing more classic than blue and white china. So today, I've set a blue and white bunny tablescape. So let's take a look around the table. For today's tablescape, I'm using a lovely blue and white pattern tablecloth that I picked up on eBay. I'm also going to use my wooden whitewash chargers. Uh, I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to be using these white dinner plates with a blue border. Uh, I found those at Dollar Tree. I'm going to use blue dinner napkins. I'm also going to use these blue and white bunny salad plates that I found at Hobby Lobby. They have a blue and white floral border and a little bunny who's looking up at a butterfly. Now you could use these for Easter, but I keep bunnies out year round, so I'm going to use them today. For the flatware, I'm going to be using some hammered silver. I'm going to use my Longchamp stemware today. I have the wine glass, the iced tea glass, and to carry out our blue and white theme, I found these pretty cobalt blue glasses on eBay. I had been looking for that perfect pair of cobalt glasses and I really like the shape of those. For the centerpiece today, I've gathered a bouquet of viburnums from my yard. They're blooming out so pretty, and I've placed them in this blue and white vase. Uh, it's, um, it has peripherations and little holes throughout, so I've put a liner clear vase inside. Every year I like to pick my viburnums and bring them to the table. I think they're so fluffy and pretty. And on each side, I'm using some new little pedestals. I found these uh, at Hobby Lobby recently. I put a few of them on my Easter tablescape, you guys may remember. And they had a couple heights. Uh, they're not candle holders per se. Uh, there aren't any indentations for candles but I'm just using them sort of like little cupcake stands or little pedestals. And as you can see, I've got some little blue and white birdies up here that I've put on them. And I'm also using these blue and white votives. And I've got those on each side. I wanted the pattern of the tablecloth to show some, so this table is not as loaded down as some of my tables you may have noticed, um, but it really just depends on how much of a collection that I have for any given table, and I thought this way some of the pattern could show. Here I've got this cute little blue and white bunny alongside the blue votive. People ask me all the time at the store, uh, is it okay to leave my bunnies out? Do I have to put them all away after Easter? And I always tell people it's fine. I leave some of mine out year round. The ones with the Easter eggs and the more pastel colors, those are put away. But I have a large bunny that I keep in my kitchen and he's holding carrots and I have it uh, there all year long. So to me, these blue and white uh, little salad plates. You could use them for Easter or if you like you can use them uh, anytime you know during the spring and summer. You guys know I like pairing things together. The plates came from Dollar Tree. Well now it's Dollar and a Quarter Tree. Uh -huh. 
but that won't stop me from purchasing things there. Here I've got a cute vintage little set. Uh, they are milk glass. They have a hobnail pattern, and it's a sugar and a creamer. I picked these up at a little thrift store, and uh, the uh, creamer is covered, which is a little unusual. At first, I thought someone had set a lid on it that didn't belong, but it's a covered creamer with a little sugar bowl. And I thought they were sweet. At this corner of the table, I have a white milk glass cupcake stand, and I've put a little dome or garden cloach on top. I like to use those. Uh, I look for various sizes that will fit cake stands, and you could use them outside and put a plant under them, but the only thing if you do, a lot of time they'll get ruined. <laughs> the glass will uh, get a film. But I like to use mine sort of as cake domes on Cupcake stands and cake stands. I've set out a milk glass uh, pitcher. It has sort of a diamond design. And I think I got that in an antique shop years ago. Here in the back, I've got a cute little miniature teapot in the blue and white. And at this corner, I'm using another milk glass cake stand. This one is vintage, and I think I got it too uh, at an antique shop. And I've set a dome here on top of it. Uh, I believe I got this dome at Goodwill. One day I went in and they had two or three together and I scooped them all up. Blue and white is such a classic. Everyone seems to like it. And you can also pair lots of other colors with the blue and white too. Today, I use the viburnums because I had them blooming, but uh, you could also do a large bouquet of yellow forsythia, or as we call it here in the South, yellow bell. Uh, that would be lovely as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, Please leave me a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe to my channel, Decorating Happily Ever After, and turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a video. I'm Jeffrey Kevin, hoping that you decorate happily ever after. Bye-bye now.